Welcome back everyone, this is Abigail at Movement and Massage. Today we're talking about the gallbladder and the sphincter of Odi. Because the, the, the gallbladder is the first line of stress during the day, um, it can be things like, I'm running around the house looking for my car keys, I can't find them, or my child steps out into the street and I get that immediate rush of panic, um, maybe anger, because I'm scared or someone jumps out and scares me. These are all superficial, transient, coming and going um, stresses and emotions of anger that the gallbladder can deal with during and the day. we're working in the gallbladder. I wanted to give you an idea of what the gallbladder looks like and where it's sitting. So here's the body of the gallbladder, we call it a fundus. It joins up, comes down into the common bile duct, and down into what we call the sphincter of Odi. Now here you can see I've drawn the part of part of the duodenum right here, which is the first part of the intestines coming off from the stomach. This is the pancreas, and both the gallbladder and the pancreas drain down into the sphincter of Odi. And it comes in on the back side of that duodenum, on the first part of the intestines there. It is a very important little piece to talk about as we work in the gallbladder because it drains down and brings the bile down into the small intestines. If the sphincter is not working and opening and closing properly, then both the pancreas and the gallbladder will not drain properly. So we also need to give you an idea of where the liver sits in this picture. So the liver is covering most of the uh, gallbladder and really in perspective the gallbladder would be smaller. The ribs are coming down This again will give you a picture. So you look at the blue lines as the ribs and in a seated position you may be able to feel again just that little pouch will be flushing gently up and relieving some of that pressure from the weight of the gallbladder and then gently pulling it back down along the um, bile duct and down into the common bile duct. So again, with sphincters, they are an involuntary muscle that will close and open. This particular one that we're talking about today, the sphincter of Odi, is about the size of a pea. It's very small, but you can train yourself to feel it. What you want to do is you can hold your hands close together without touching, move them back and forth and wherever you feel the most heat is where the most sensitive part of your hand is going to be. Sometimes it will be the finger pads, sometimes it will be the pisiform down here. So you can gently press into the area that we talked about near your uh, umbilicus to find that sphincter of Odi and you should feel it turning counterclockwise and clockwise. Sometimes It'll feel jumpy. Sometimes you won't feel anything because it's frozen. It needs to be moving back and forth and it will be just a very slight movement. Sometimes it feels like a gurgling. Sometimes it feels like a, a little bit of a pumping motion. All right, so here we are. We want to be in a seated position when we work on the gallbladder and what you'll do is first drain in the sphincter of Odi. Make sure Properly. So we want to come down to the belly button, like I said, two fingers over, two fingers up, and right in here is going to be the sphincter of Odi. I like to use the heel of my hand, so I'll place that right in that area, take a nice deep breath. I'll show you from 
this side. I'm not too far in. Down here, I can move around a little bit. When I engage the sphincter of Oni, I want to gently press down, come out, and then allow my hand to turn clockwise or counterclockwise to follow the motion of that sphincter. Now my sphincter of Odi is not moving a whole lot, so I'm going to engage it. It's going counterclockwise, pull, and then I'll let go, follow it, follow it into counterclockwise again. Give it a little extra nudge that direction. And then let go. You don't want to hold that too long. So now that we've gotten in the sphincter of Odi and made sure that it was moving properly, opening and closing, we can find right in the middle in the xiphoid process area, we will come down along the ribs. Okay. So my rib line is going to be right in here. We don't want to sink in directly in the middle, but the fundus of the gallbladder will be sitting oh, two inches in or so. So this is where my ribs end. I'm going to drop down to almost the level of the belly button so I can make sure to be well under the gallbladder. Using the sides of my, my fingers here, I'm going to sink in slowly as I bend forward you want to make sure that your hands are gentle and you're not pushing directly in. So I will start in here, take a nice deep breath. Gently come forward. This technique should not hurt. If it hurts, come out and readjust. I am slowly moving up and a little more lateral out to the side. You may feel a little bit of pressure in the middle of your sternum as you're pressing up in here. So you're influencing that uh, liver and the hepatic duct that's coming down from the liver meets up with that's a stick duck from the gallbladder. Okay. So as we're in here, we want to gently spread up and under the ribs a little bit. Broad pressure in here with your finger pads. You are flushing up the body and closer in towards midline, still under the ribs. We want to transition to the finger pads and press down along that bile duct toward the sphincter of Odi. And we start again, just as we did with the stomach technique. Again, to give you a brief overview, 
sink in below the ribs. Press up and extend your body with it. Press down along that duct and then start over. We'll lean forward, sink in, lift up through the gallbladder. Transition to the finger pads, press down six or seven times. Thanks for joining me in learning about your gallbladder today. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to send those to me or any requests for other organs or areas of the body you would like to work on. The suggestions in this video are not meant to treat or diagnose, but they're for your home care and your education. So thank you guys for joining me again, and I'll see you next time.